Hello my friends. Let me show you how to miter baseboard like the pros do. First thing you want to do when you're going to do the miter is butt this first piece all the way up tight against the wall. It's cut square. Okay, the miter piece then I'm going to take a piece that's oversized and then I'm going to cut on this piece a 45 degree angle. Before you make any cuts, make sure that your saw is perfectly square. And what I do is I, when I set my square up, I try to use a long length of the blade and I look for the air gap that's between my square and my blade. Then we want to set the saw at a 45 degree angle. We have our test piece, or our piece. This is the cut that we need, 45 degree in this direction. So to do that, I'm going to have to cut this upside down. And because there's no back support at the top, I have a piece of sacrificial wood that I use to back up. And I can cut right through this. And safety, ear protection, eye protection. Now you want to take a coping saw, and this is relatively a cheap saw, it costs about $10. And what you're going to do is cut away this material. And rather than be perfectly perpendicular, I like to tilt inward just slightly to make this top edge, the edge that will be in contact. So I'm going to start this small area here, I'm just going to get fairly close, and as I get to the thicker area, I'll get closer to my line. Okay, at this point, you want to take a file and file to this line you can see here. What we want to remove is this edge. I don't normally do this. This is so that we can see what I'm talking about. Now this is where you would take a round file and a little flat file and file to these edges. But since I'm working vinyl, this cuts very easily and I am just going to shave this with my Swiss Army. And notice that I'm keeping the blade leaning, not perpendicular, slightly undercut. Here's the cut. There's the miter.
apply a little caulking compound and we have a perfect miter. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.